Hi, this is Rick and welcome to the 6 Excel 2010 VBA tutorial. In today's topic, I'm going to show you how to do a um, or get user input with a message box and how to uh, have it inserted on, into the sheet. So first thing I'm going to do, let me go back to, um, we'll, we'll just do something really simple here. We'll do a, a spreadsheet and we'll say, um, let's see, we'll do labor hours pretend this is part of like an invoice or something and then we'll have say a um, you know a rate over here and I'll put the number here and let's say the rate is fifty dollars an hour and the number when you put in the numbers there and then you get a total here so really very simple but I'm gonna put a let me go ahead and just put a formula here I'm gonna do equals B2 times the rate all right, and then we'll, uh, we'll we'll go ahead and make this a with a, uh, give it a currency symbol. So anyway, so let's assume that you want somebody to fill in this sheet through a questionnaire of some sort, and obviously this is pretty basic, so this is just a building block. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into uh, Developer, go to Visual Basic. And I'm going to go down to Module 1 here. If you don't have a uh, module already, just go in here and go to uh, Insert Module, and it will add one there for you. So with the module highlighted, go ahead and click over here inside the um, code box here. And what we want to do is we're going to create a, create a little project here. I'm going to call it Sub um, Get Hours, let's say. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to declare a couple variables. So I'm going to do, and how you do that is with this um, dim statement or DIM. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, dim quantity entry as an integer. Let's say an integer would be a whole number. By the way, you don't have to declare these. If you don't, Excel will treat them as a variant, which will let you do any sort of a, any sort of a variable type. Um, but it's more efficient to do it like this. So I'm also going to declare um, the message as a string, which is text. Okay. You'll see when you start typing these out, it should auto-populate um, options, and just hit Tab if you want to choose that option. So then I'm going to go down here, I'm going to pop in a message, and I'm going to say message should be equal to, and you put the message in quotes, um, please enter the number of hours, enter the number of labor hours. Okay, I'm going to return, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a input box here. So I'm going to do quantity entry, so keep in mind this refers back to this variable and then what I'm doing is I'm going to have that related to the input box here okay and then in my parentheses here now I'm going to refer back to this message right so MSG MSG right there then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put that on the active sheet put it in a range okay whether it's a single cell or a whole range of cells you're always going to use range in VBA okay so this time I want to put it right here in cell B2 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click um, put B2 here close that out and then I'm going to do dot value because that's what I'm going to get there is a value and again I'm going to pull it from quantity entry and I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and run this now. So I'm going to go ahead and click um, Run. I'm going to run the Get Hours, which is my macro name here, my routine name. I'm going to do that. I'm going to say 10. Okay, and you see what happens? It put in 10 hours. I can run it again. I can put in 40 hours. Okay, so. That's what I want to share with you in this tutorial is how to do that. There's lots of problems with this. Number one is um, it doesn't validate any numbers. So I could put in something that is completely um, unrealistic, 
a, or you know something that you would never want someone to put on put on the uh, on the sheet or the invoice so what we'll do in the next tutorial on number six is we'll come back and we'll show you how to put in a a range of uh, valid numbers so that you can force people to enter a range and we can also put that in the message so thanks for joining and please subscribe take care